I just thought I'd make a quick video of uh, how to do Audi fuel injectors uh, without buying any special tools. Um, you do need something to stretch the new seal on though. Um, so what I just ended up using uh, from a pen. Piece like that, here's a pen as an example. Let's take off the top. You can get these at a bank pretty much anywhere. But you will have to cut it and grind it down so it becomes uh, even with the fuel injector. So, I mean, this one's not pretty, but that's exactly what I was going for. And uh, I already did a couple with it. It's working out fine. Uh, obviously easier to do with the actual kit, but again, if you're not going to be doing this every day, what the hell's the point? So, first thing, you do have to cut the old seal off. Uh, get a nice sharp blade be very gentle because there is a, a recess or a, I don't know what to call it but there is something underneath you do not want to damage so just push softly through without pushing into the metal too hard You crack it open, peel it off. So that's what I was talking about. You can see it's uh, know, it's like a bubble or something. And you do want to get that clean. Uh, a thousand ways you can do it. Believe it or not, fingernail is actually not bad for getting carbon off. You really want to be sure just some carb cleaner now you do want this area of the injector to be clean too because you will be sliding the seal along that surface so you don't want to damage it with the carbon that's already on there I mean, this would be a great idea to clean here too, but I'm just lazy and honestly, it's not going to alter how the injector performs at all. Uh, definitely clean the holes in uh, where the injector goes into uh, when putting in new seals. I've gotten away with actually putting in an injector that came out back in without changing the seal. But the job I'm doing, it just, uh, I decided to actually put new ones, especially one of them was kind of loose. But the other two are pretty tight there. I probably could have gotten away with it, but I'm already fixing the head on that side. So, anyways, uh, where the heck do I got the new seal? Too bad they, they sell you the whole kit with all of these. I mean, yeah, you can change the o ring and everything up there too. Believe me, you don't have to. They will not leak. I always put a little bit of uh, brake lube. But obviously be very, very careful. The loop goes on the very outer edge. Never, ever in such a way that it could actually get into the injector. Because then you're screwed. But on the outer lip, and as you press it in, it's impossible for that loop to do any damage because it's all being pushed to the outside, not going in the inside, so you're fine. I mean, even if it gets into the injector, you can clean the injector, but it's a pain in the butt. So, new seal. Uh, I don't know. I got O-ring. It's what they had in stock. I don't really care. So, a little tip from the pen. Everything works the same. Like with the special tool. Maybe a little bit trickier, but again, if you're not going to be doing it every day, you got to get it out to the edge as much as it can. Once you're close, put them together. a little bit more ok 
Okay, I'm gonna do it standing up. I think that's how I did the last one. Just not sure it's gonna get caught on camera. There we go. Got it on. Of course now, second step, you would need a special tool too. Obviously it's loose. Uh, my case, uh, 3 8 fuel hose, 3 8 high pressure clamp. Uh, get it as loose as you can first. Clamp. So when you're putting it in, be careful that you don't get it past the lip of the injector because it's not going to be helpful. So yeah, there, I just wedge it in so it's even with the wall of the of the hose. Got the injector sitting where it's supposed to. And that last bit I gotta do it off camera. Now, it will still be a little bit loose. I know the tool that comes with the kit to be doing this, it would look a lot better than that. But believe me, that's more than enough. Um, because uh, here is one that I did that I already fitted into the combustion chamber. And just pushing it into a clean uh, tube uh, will correct uh, the rest of it. Just doing it with the hose is enough so at least it won't get past that point of the injector anymore. So the last part. Uh, but when you're putting it in, slowly, carefully turn it, push gently, you know, don't just ram it in there. But um, I didn't have any issues and it looks just fine. So these two that I did, I'll do the exact same thing. Anyway, save you a bunch of bucks. Uh, buying those tools for something that you know you might only end up doing one time hope this helps